Hey folks, welcome to another how-to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do binomial distribution and these types of questions on this particular Casio graphics calculator. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we want to be doing is let's all take the important information for these questions. So the first bit of info, important information that I'm going to need is the 40% chance of winning which is P is equal to 0 0.4. Now this is the probability of success. Then we're gonna be looking at the number of trials. In this case, it's 10. So the N is equal to 10. And finally, looking at what question A is asking us. Now the question A is asking us to figure out the probability of at most four rounds. So that means we're looking for probability of X less than or equal to four. Now I will drop a video later which will actually go in depth with these words at most, more than, at least, and I think there's another combination there which we'll talk about in another video. As for now, we're looking for probability of x is less than or equal to 4. So the way we're going to calculate this is switch on the calculator, go into main menu, go into stat mode, then we're going to go into distribution which is F5. We're going to click on binomial, which is also F5. Now, in this case, we're going to be looking at BCD. Now, if you're looking for binomial distribution and exact values, you would use BPD. But with this one, we're going to use BCD. And make sure you choose variable because we don't want to be working with lists. We're going to go into X. Now, with this question, it's actually asking for X is less than or equal to 4. Now the calculator can only calculate up to a particular value. So if I actually put down 4 and go down to number of trials as n, which is 10, and then probability, well, probability is 0 0.4, which is success. So what the CD does is it actually works out up to 4. So that means if you have a look at this number here, so we've got from 0 to 10, and when we put an x is equal to 4, it is going to include four all the way down to zero. So that's what the BCD does. So when we calculate X is less than or equal to four, we press enter, we're going to get 0 0.6331. Now in the next question, we're looking for probability that they win more than six rounds. So if they want to win more than six rounds, we're looking for probability of X greater than six. And if I was to write these numbers down, so I'm just going to write down 5, 6, and 7. So we're looking for more than 6. That means we're going to be looking for the probability of winning 7, 8, 9, 10. So then, if we figure out the probability of less than or equal to 6, and then we do 1 minus that, we should be able to get 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're going to go into the calculator, and we're going to work out what the probability of at, at most 6. <clears throat> so now this is the same thing as saying 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 6. Because the probability of x less than or equal to 6 is basically this side of, the, of that line there. So we're going to work out what probability of x less than 6 is, which is, what do we got here? going to go down x less than 6. Yep, so we're going to put x is 6. Number of trials is 10 and 0 0.4. So we're going to get 1 minus 0 0.9452. And then what we need to do is go back into the normal mode and we're going to go 1 minus 0 0.9452. And that's going to give us 0 0.0548. So that 0 0.548 is the probability of um, x greater than 6. So that's when x is equal to 7 plus 8 plus 9 and plus 10. And folks, that's pretty much how you do these types of questions on this particular Casio Graphics Calculator.